So I'm starting a new series. Series, series is probably too strong a word. It ain't Game of Thrones, all right? It's not Breaking Bad. It's not up at that level, to be fair. And probably series would give an indication that it was going to be seven or eight episodes. I reckon we're looking at three maximum. Depends how long I can string it out. But the idea came to me the other day because somebody was assessing the team at the halfway point of the season. Well, oh, I like that. That's an excuse for a video. So I'm going to be taking us through the team. But before I do that, I've got a parcel. I promised this. Hopefully you tuned in earlier on. I've got a parcel from Canning Town Lynn, which has been has been in my has been in my lounge basically for a, for a little while now. And he sent it to me. So we're going to have a grand opening. See what's in there. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to this. I, I know I know what one of the things in there is. So I think we'll get it open. Then we'll discuss the. Um, you know, the other the other things. I've got to keep it facing this way. Because I don't want you to see me address. Because, um, well, quite frankly, if all the ladies that watch these videos, if they, if they find out where my address is, it's going to be like a take that concert out the front of my house, is what I'm saying. So, for reasons. For, it's a wrong talk. Wrong talk for the job. Look at that. A pink craft knife. I better use my glasses, really. I better put my glasses on for this one. Let's have a look. What Canning Town Lynn has sent me. This is a this is a tricky old operation. Oh, blimey, I am useless at this. Don't cut your leg, boy. Don't cut your leg. There we go. I'm in. He's wrapped this very well. Bloody hell, Len. What on earth have you? Then what sticky substance have you put on here? I don't want to bend it. It's got a big thing on it saying don't. It's, a, it's excreted stuff on my fingers. It's very good. It's very well, very, very well wrapped. See, I didn't want, that's why I thought I'd give you two videos today. So I didn't want you to think, hold on a second. Where's that video? It get, he spends half the time opening up parcels. What's in here? Oh, ripped it. I didn't really. Be careful. Be gentle. It actually says on there, you can see it, it says, hey, posty, do not bend. You see that? Again, I was trying to conceal the address at that point. Two. Two things. And I think, oh. Oh, thanks for purchasing one of my original storyboard. I didn't. Truth is, I didn't purchase it. It says... All the best, Len. It's a storyboard, storyboard artwork. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, Len, you cheeky old monkey. I like that. Look what he sent me. That's me. That's, that's, I've, I'm obviously a little bit more. I've got more hair there, both on the top and there. That's me, can you see? I am chuffed with that. Certificate of authenticity. This is to certify that this is a one of a kind. Of course it's one of a kind. It's me. Thank you, Len. Thank you very much indeed. Glossy and embossed at the bottom. That's one of them. Do you know what that is? You see that? You know where that is, don't you? Everyone knows where that is. That's the old Upton Park. And that was when the shop was a porter cabin. Do you remember that? If you're young, you don't. If you're really young, you don't even remember Upton Park. What's Upton Park? What's a, what's a stadium? Yeah, children, when we, in football, in the olden days, we used to actually go to watch the football. That noise that you hear, that's, our, that's recordings of us at the football. It doesn't happen anymore. Thank you, Len. That is going to get... I don't know. I, I, well, I can't put it there. I, d I don't know. Some it's going to give. I don't know. Some, something, something, something's going to happen. Some, something is going to happen there. That is lovely. I'm, I am chuffed with that. I am, I think that is, that's right. And I had that shirt, Avco Trust. That's, 
I feel, I feel that's my shirt. If you, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that, Len? We just been cheeky. This. Oh, oh, he spoils me. He spoils me. This, right? This is special. This is special. Right. This is from Everybody's Second Team, which is Len's film, which is on Amazon. It's on everywhere, actually. Go to canintownland.com. Have a look. You, you, hopefully you've seen it. Um, and this is a scene from the FA Cup final where Ray Stewart and Alvin Martin are waiting to go up the steps. And this is, this is absolutely fantastic. Clearly signed. Obviously signed. Probably not Len. Len possibly hasn't scribbled it himself. Genuine signatures. Um, certificate of authenticity. He does love... His certificate of authenticity, Len, with a beautiful hologram on the back. It has to be said. Now, these these are original. So basically what you get is a scene from the film. So these are one of a kind. Obviously, there are lots of scenes in the film. So this one is, well, it's the scene from this clip, basically. Elation of the, the people as you're walking up the old steps, you know, and it's, it was wonderful. I remember hanging about waiting to go up, Arsenal went up first. Obviously it was old Wembley at the time, but it was still tradition. i would never lost at Wembley, by the way. At times I've played at Wembley, I've never lost. And... and you can get these wonderful things on canintownlen.com. Now, Len, I know this because he's told me. He said to me, I'm sending you something in the post. Let people know about my offer, if you would. The offer is, basically... It, you can either have a scene from a film, they're separate, or if you wanted one of these, so it'd be a picture of you, you don't you don't want a picture of me, right? You want a picture of yourself, Len draws you. It probably won't be as handsome as mine. I'm just letting you know. Now, of course, the ladies, if you want to, you can order one of me. You, you can. You can contact Len and say, excuse me, can I have a, a picture of, of Gonzo loitering outside my house? So this is what he's gonna do. Any shirt, which means you can have any West Ham shirt on. He'll put that on you. He'll put your boat race on there, right? Any two back, any any two backgrounds. I reckon if you really push him, I reckon you can get three. It's not just here. It's not just Upton Park. It's not just. If you want, you can actually have a picture of your house behind. Not my house. You can't have a picture of my house. Whatever. Picture in a man cave. What? What? Whatever. Whatever. You can have you on. Three different backgrounds. He says two. Make it three. It's because I'm nice like that. I'm just making his uh, making his work a lot more difficult for him. All right. You get one. You get one of these as a as a file as a PDF file, basically a PNG, whatever. You get one of these as a vectored digital file. You get one animated file, which if I'm any good with technology pops up now. You get one of those. And you get an audio or oh, 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 a studio artboard. All right. One of those. One of those. Literally, you get the full thing sent through the post. Just like this. Do not bend. You probably get it. You, oh, excuse me, friend. You probably get it in one of these, I would imagine. Um, anyway, there you go. There you go. Absolutely lovely. Go to canintownlen.com. This is really good stuff. All I can say about Len is... Well, I could tell you naughty things about Len if you want. Len's a perfectionist, all right? He is an absolute perfectionist. This stuff is, all this is embossed. He told me to say that. I don't know what embossed means. No, I do. it's, it's got a, it's, it's bumpy. It's bumpy. It's bumpy and shiny, which is really good. It, it really is lovely. The certificate of authenticity. These are really are one of a, this one's one of a kind. You can't have this one. You can't have this one. But you can have one of your own. Canintownlen.com. Len, thank you. Thank you. I've been looking for more things to stick up on me WhatsApp. Pardon the expression. And these will do the job very nicely. And you know what? I, um, excuse me. I actually spoke to Ray Stewart on the phone the other day. I, I know you know, because I keep telling everybody, but I did. And I thought it was, I thought it was wonderful. I, I was, I was, I kept on showing my wife my phone. Ray Stewart. She says, who's Ray Stewart? Doesn't matter. Nothing to do with you. Anyway, listen. I, I promised you some talk about um, 
Promised you some talk about players, didn't I? The half-time report. We're not going to get through much, much now, but I can't promise and then not deliver. Many of you have gone by now. I reckon you went when I got glue on my fingers, and rightly so. Um, the ladies probably went when you saw my address. You're probably out the front now. Let's start with Fabianski. Half-term report. I feel a little bit sorry for Fabianski because the defence is so good he doesn't have an awful lot to do. But thus far, thus far, I'm going to have to write this down. Hold on. You know by now, don't you? Book of Truth. Book of Truth. Pen of Destiny. Right. Fabianski. Half-term report. Fabianski. I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Is that harsh? Is that harsh? I don't know. I don't know. Good performance against Crystal Palace. They could have got a draw against us, Crystal Palace. They never deserved a draw, but they could have got one if it wasn't for Lucas Fabianski. I'll give him a 6. I probably should say on this whether I think... I don't know what's going to happen with Fabianski next season. I do think either this season or next... I will say this season... I've a deal with it at the end of this season or the end of next season. We need to buy a goalkeeper. I think we need to buy a goalkeeper. But Fabianski, I'm going to give him a six. Now, actually, funny enough, this ties in quite nicely. Ray Stewart. Did I tell you I spoke to Ray Stewart on the phone the other night? Marvellous. Um, when I spoke to Ray Stewart, he said, uh, Suchek. I said, yes, please. No, he, he said, Suchek. And um, I I said, yeah, yeah. He said, I really like him. He said, he's the best fullback West Ham have had since me. I, I loved it. I loved it because it was <laughs> because it was confident and it was probably true. I'm not doubting Ray, by the way. What a, what a player he was. What a player he was, by the way. Um, but he rated him really highly. So I also have got to eat a little bit of, of humble pie on the... Um, on the suit. Actually, I don't know. I'm not eating pie on Suchek. That would be messy, uh, impolite, and would be a breach of COVID rules. So what I mean is I'm going to eat a little bit of humble pie. When I first saw him and he was playing at, at, full, at wing back, I, I wasn't impressed. I thought his technique was a little bit lacking. I, 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 I thought Moyes would probably look at him and replace him. I, I clearly don't think that anymore. I think... Well, I think two things about it. I think number one, I had it wrong. Uh, and number two... He's changed position. He's now at fullback, which is apparently where he's played all his career. Not only does he look comfortable, he, he's one, he does look one of the best fullbacks in the league. So I don't think he's getting replaced. Certainly not if we stick with this uh, formation. I think he's brilliant. I think he's settled really quickly as well, which is difficult when you've got people like me appraising you after three games. But um, no, he's, he's um, I don't know, he seems to be missing a potato salad less, less than Suchek, which is good. But uh, So I am actually going to give Sue Fowl. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I mean, to be fair, he probably deserves a 9, but he ain't been here the whole time. Do you know what I mean? I think he missed the first month or whatever, first six weeks, something like that, didn't he? Um, I'm, I think I'm probably going to have to appraise. I'm going to have to do this in order, right? In which case, I've, done, I've not done Randolph, have I? I will do everybody in the squad. Um, I'm not going to keep this game for much longer. I, I promise you... Um, on the next video I do on this, I'll do whatever, 10, 10 players at least. I just want to do Fredericks, if you pardon the expression. Um, the ladies won't be happy to hear that, that that's for sure. Um, I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm going to give Fredericks a 7. It ain't his fault that Sue Fowl's so good, basically. It's just not. Um, I think... I think there's a future from West Ham. I hope he sees that there's a future from West Ham. I've never been the biggest fan of Fredericks. Maybe it's just me and fullbacks. Maybe I'm just no good at, at, at appraising fullbacks. Again, it's a technique thing. I think he's. I don't always feel that Fredericks got the best footballing brain. His technique lets him down a little bit. However, I thought he was the only good player we had against Arsenal. Uh, I thought he was the only good. No, the only good player. Sorry, the only good player we had against Newcastle. I thought he was our best player against Arsenal. I think when he has played, he's played really well. I thought. Um, I just, I just like him. I think he's, I think he's good. I think he's sort of almost come of age uh, this season a little bit. Unfortunately, it's um, 
he's come of age at a time when there's someone a little bit better than him. Uh, but I am going to give him a seven. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he sold him. He's got 18 months left on his contract. We signed him on a free. We might get a little bit of money for him. I could possibly see that happening. Plus, we do have Johnson and we do have Harrison Ashby. Who I only had a, had a fleeting glimpse of him. He looked brilliant. But then again, what do I know about fullbacks? Very little. It, he might turn out to be rubbish because I think he's brilliant. Because the one I thought was no good turned out to be brilliant. Y you get you get what I mean. You get what I mean. Okay. Fabianski, six. Souffal, eight. Frederick, seven. At the halfway point in the season. Um, we, we, ca we carry this on at the end of the season. It's going to be very, very juicy. But this is the halfway point. Anyway. Thank you for tuning in. There's your two videos uh, for today. Thank you to Len for sending me my presents. I'm gonna, um, I'm now gonna go and film moody footage of them, so I can edit it in to the video, which hopefully you've already seen. The, the magic, the magic of technology. <laughs>